All right, it's January 19th. This is where we are with this year's build. We got 1960 Ford F100. It is going on top of a Crown Vic chassis, really a Mercury Grand Marquis chassis. Just about the same thing, a little bit detuned, but very similar platform. You'll see, uh, we've been trying, uh, trying to teach the kids some sheet metal work, uh, patching in the bottom end of these, uh, this tailgate area, but it's just, it's a long road to China. We're, we'll get it. It's just going to take time. Uh, so we've been working the sheet metal and we're, we're getting there. We're getting it. We finally got the body sort of sitting on its own. We had about a dozen jacks holding it up, trying to get the lines right, get, getting panels aligned. It's, uh, it's, it's tricky. Uh, it's tricky to do. This is a tough build, a lot tougher than I thought it would be with a high school class of students. Uh, working on getting panels sort of patched in. Uh, forgive me for some of the welds. The kids are learning how to weld here. Um, we're patching in some some panels here. We're going to bedline everything. Hopefully it blends in a little bit. I did purchase a, not a bead roller, what do you call it? Um, a, a panel roller so we can roll in some uh, some some wheel wells here and kind of cover up some of this this mess here we did go through some wiring we cut out a whole bunch of wiring but we probably have some more to do here's our interior I know it's it's looking rough uh, but you know we're trying to get body panels aligned and then we'll start focusing a little bit more on this sort of thing uh, we made up some custom rocker panels out of some 16 gauge and uh, they've been getting welded in we're working on getting some some panels in here so we've been focusing a little bit on on sheet metal work this is actually near paper but I have the kids forming up templates and we're cutting those out and uh, getting things kind of tacked in place I don't want to fully weld anything I just want to get everything sort of tacked in place the front clip is a little bit tricky um, we've had some issues with getting gaps lined up, but we're, we're getting there. You see gaps are They're off or a little bigger on the top than we are in the bottom, but uh, Getting the old blended with the new Is always hard and it's hard when you're doing this. We're really working out of wood shop here You know, we don't have a lift or anything um, And it's one shop that we have in high school here for, for everything, but we're getting it. We're getting it uh, we got the, we're putting the old fenders back in. They've been modified. You can see here we have an old fender. It's been modified to fit around the 4.6. Uh, so that's from the F100 fender. We're going to have to make up some templates to fill in between our firewall and the original car. And um, it's coming along, though. You know, I get got kids working in groups on all sorts of aspects of the vehicle. And we're halfway through the year, so we should technically be at the halfway point of the car. I'd say we are probably about halfway. I feel pretty confident here, you know? And um, if you look, the body line is like, it's getting there. It's down a little bit in the front, but that, that should be able to be closed. Let's see if I could. You see the body line is looking pretty straight. I want to put the doors on and see if we could just run a dry line, a mason line on that line and get it straight. Stance to me is everything in these builds. And I really want to get the proper stance here. I do like having a little bit of a rake on the vehicle. And I think that's something we're trying to get and we're getting there. But if you look at this side, you see the front wheel well, the front fender, it's, it's pointing up a little bit. Whereas if you look at the other side, I feel like it's it's pointing down. And it's it's hard in the shop because the floor is not straight. I can't just measure off the floor and get an accurate measurement because we have a drain in the floor and uh, the floor slopes. But this body, when we got it, was rough, rough, rough. We've worked all these panels. You might be able to see a little bondo through, through the primer in some spots. It's not perfect, but it is in so much better shape and then we got it and to build something this hard inside really a wood shop I'm really 
happy with the way things are coming out in here. I do have two hoods. This hood was pitted, but it had less rot than our other hood. I was originally going to use this hood. This hood had some holes. We had to put some metal work into it. But now I'm thinking we worked this hood. I was going to sell it, unload it. But now I'm thinking of keeping it and running it. But you will see if you zoom in here. Let's see. You'll see there's some pitting in here. But I think a good coat of primer, a high build, and we'll be back in business. But that's basically the progress. That's where we're at with this year's advanced shop build. All right. Stay tuned for more.